Okay, so today we're going to be learning about the verb ser and a star. They both mean to be. To be. To be. So in the English language, we use the same exact word every single time. He is happy. He is a boy. But in Spanish, they're going to be different. So to help us remember all the uses of ser, we're going to come up with like an acronym. And it's called pop and top. P-O-P. N T O P. And each one of these is going to represent one of the uses of the verbs there. I thought to spend money was paro. Okay, so now that you have pop and top, our first one is personal. Personal and permanent characteristics. So I can say, I am a teacher, I am a girl, you are a student, he is blonde. It's a characteristic. Now, maybe that person changes their hair color. It's still considered a characteristic of the person. It's not permanent, but it is personal. So even if somebody changes their hair color like every week, it's still a personal characteristic of that person. It doesn't have to be personal and permanent. It can be one or the other. The house is green. La casa es verde. Your next one is your origin or where you're from. Origin. So you don't say estoy de Nebraska. You would say soy. Day, Nebraska. The next one is a possessive. If I want to say, oh, that is my book. I don't use a star. I say, es mi libro. If I say, um, oh, those pens on your desk, those are my pens. Would you use a ston or sewn? Sewn fits over here. A ston fits over here. Son. It's possessive, so I would have to say, oh, son mis plumas. Those are my pens. So we'll talk about the different conjugations that go over here um, when we finish. So the next one is nationality. Oh, she's Cuban. He's Colombian. I am American. Nationality. This is really close to origin, but the origin is you say from. She is from Colombia would be her origin. She is Colombian would be her nationality. So you could say, um, we are somos mexicanos. We are Mexican. Somos mexicanos. That would be our nationality. Some of the word for, like, I'm a United Statesian, or I don't know how you say that in the English language. Um, esto, soy estadounidense. Probably one of the longest words I've ever seen in Spanish. Estadounidense. The next T stands for time and date. Because you know, for time and date, you say es la una. Es la una. You never say esta la una. And what do you say for 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock? Son las. Good. Es la una, son las. 2 through 12. And then for the date, you say S, L, number, day, month. So once again, we have S, S, son. The next O is your occupation. Occupation. I'm a teacher. They don't say I am a teacher in Spanish. They just say I am teacher. Soy, or you would say soy estudiante. L S médico. He's a doctor. A S profesora. I don't use a sta. I don't use a estoy. Even though they all mean the same thing. He is. She is. I am. 
And the last one is like a grammar concept called a predicate nominative. And that's like um, DC es la capital. So this word and this word are referring to the same thing, and they're just connected by the verb ser. He is my brother. He and my brother are the same people. So we have the song like Yo soy tu eres ustedes el es y ella es cha cha cha. Nosotros somos ustedes son, and that's missing the verb soy. So if you want to put on the ser side just to help you remember, the six forms of ser are I am, you are, any one person is, we are, y'all are, and plural people are. Soy eres es, somos sois son. Then we have a nice little song to help us remember the star verbs. You might have heard me say it a few times. Location, health and feeling, temporary condition. Temporary condition is what you do when you really can't decide. Location, health and feeling is what trumps it. of a star are I am, estoy, you are, estás, he or she is, singular, esta, we are, estamos, y'all are in Spain, estáis, in plural, están. So then just some ejemplos, some examples <coughs> could be she is happy. She is happy. And then I have to decide, okay, is it ella es or ella está? Is it a personal characteristic about her or is it how she is feeling? feeling? Yeah, it's probably feeling right now, but you could say, oh, that lady is a happy person. She smiles all the time. If it's a permanent characteristic about her as a person, then you could say, ella es feliz. That would work. However, if she's really happy right now, like most people aren't happy 100% of their life, um, she, it's a feeling. So you would say, ella está, we have to match the star to the singular form, ella está feliz. And another one, if you say, oh my gosh, we are all sick. We're not like permanently sick and dying of a disease. This is our health right now. So would I use somos or would I use estamos if we're talking about our health? Estamos. estamos. Nosotros estamos, and you probably haven't learned the word sick, enfermos. You wouldn't have to use the word nosotros, you could just say estamos. Because this ending gives away who your subject is. 
and fair or most has to be plural and match to your plural subject. And then we will do some practices with using those sentences. When do I use Sarah? When do I use Isar?